Hi, this is Kelly Christensen coming to you from Palo Alto Healthcare. Um, I'm a little bit out of breath. I just ran over here from the respiratory clinic where I was working this morning, seeing patients, patients who think they might have COVID or might have been exposed to it. I, I wanted to redo a video because if you recall, June Minchow and I did one back in April um, on masks. And basically my message at that point was, don't worry about it because there wasn't any COVID in Park County then, or there was, there was I think one patient. Eventually we got a second patient, but it wasn't out in the community. And so it really didn't make sense to wear masks. And I was a big opponent of wearing masks at that point. And that video had 6,800 views. And um, lately I've been developing some um, feelings of remorse about making that video, at least for the current time. I mean, it was, it was the right video for that time, but now we're in a different time and I, I don't want anybody to see that old video and think that that still applies because it doesn't. We have entered a completely new phase of this disease. You know, in March and April when, when they started talking about masks and social distancing and all that, we didn't have COVID here. We, we basically treated um, Wyoming like we were New York because New, it was bad in New York and so social distancing and masks became the the norm for the country or the what was expected of the country. But that was really pretty silly because we didn't have it here. Well, now we do. Um, I just, on the Worldometer website, I don't know if you've seen that, but it's, it's kind of an interesting place to look. It says that right now we have about 4,900 active cases in Wyoming. Um, Casper, or the Wyoming Medical Center in Casper uh, I just watched a video from an infectious disease doctor down there. He said they've got 56 people admitted currently with COVID. There are four people currently admitted here at Powell Hospital with COVID. It's, it's here. Um, if you do the math, 4,900 cases in the state and, and we've got 500,000 people. That means one out of every 100 people in Wyoming currently has COVID-19. And, and that's just the people that we've tested positive. Probably that number should be two or three or five times that high for the, if you want to reflect the people who actually have the disease. So if you've been out at all, you've, been, you've seen people who have it. You've been exposed to it. You have to be you know, within a certain distance of people for a certain length of time, like six feet for 10 to 15 minutes in order to get it generally but you've been exposed if you've been out there at all. So today I'm here to tell you that that old video that we made was great for then, but it does not apply to what's going on right now. Please wear your masks. It, it will decrease your chance of transmitting COVID, whether you know you have it or not, you might, and you don't wanna be the vector. You don't wanna be the one who gives it to somebody else. So if you're going out to the grocery store or the hardware store, or wherever, please wear a mask because you don't want to spread it. And the other most important thing is, is do the social distancing because that's the most reliable way to not get it is just stay away from people. Do not have gatherings. It is a bad idea. Um, this disease is going to get worse. Um, we've, we've had patients die at our hospital from this disease. It's not a joke. It's not political. It is a real disease, it's a real thing. And now is the time, not March and April, now is the time to please do the things that, that you've been told to do that you know that you probably should do, but it doesn't seem like you want to do it. These things suck, they do. Pardon my, pardon my not being politically correct, but masks are horrible. And now at the hospital, we have to wear goggles because if you get it in your eyes, it goes directly to your nose and and, um, and you can get it that way too. So we're wearing goggles too. And it's horrible. It's awful. But it's better than making people sick. So, uh, and making people die, which does happen. So that's what I wanted to tell you today. Um, thank you for watching and uh, please be safe out there.